talking about safe clips. So we're talking about safe clips. Welcome back, I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show where we talk about helmets, face masks. So we are going to be doing an install of the safe clip on a Riddell Speed helmet. This is an Icon Speed or Speed Icon. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the face mask and the clips. And really what we're doing here is we are going to be changing the bottom two clips that come with the Riddell helmet with the safe clips. And then we are going to be swapping a little bit of the hardware. I'll show you how easy that is in a moment. So we're using our little Riddell quick release tool here. We're taking out the little quick release receptacle. So behind the jaw pads, you've got these little metal washers. These are gonna come out and we're gonna be putting in replacement washers from safe clips. So let's take a look at this guy here. So in the box, these are gonna be the clear options. We're gonna use come in black, white, or clear. And there's instructions in here and there's some attachment pieces that you would be used for shut or zenith helmets if you've got one of them. So it does work with those. So we have a nice big beefy screw and a new washer. So these are gonna go right into these grommets on the back side, just like the ones before it. See that there? Sweet. And then the screws are gonna screw right into that. First, we wanna remove these guys, the, the bottom clips come off and the new clips go on. Like so. Now Steve, come in, get up nice and close here. So there's a couple of different pieces in here. We'll show you after these are on the face mask. This top piece comes off and then there's this little rubber piece in here. All right, so the rubber piece goes towards the front and then this all kind of connects together. Very important that that rubber piece goes in first. So when I put face masks on, I put the top pieces on, the top clips on first and just nice and loose. You don't need to hammer it down on the top. It'll make it easier to install the bottom piece. So we want to line up the holes. Now I like to put my finger underneath the jaw pad, so I'm touching the back of the washer. That'll help kind of lock it in, and then you want to you want to hold this so it's centered on the hole, just perfect, right there. Now we can go back and we can tighten them all down, and there we have it. And, you know, so Steve, it, you know, I can't really push it enough now for you to see this, but we do have the video where you can see the impact and exactly how much it moves. And these reduce, we, we did our testing at Clemson to kind of verify the claims of SafeClip. And yeah, we saw that on this helmet, it reduced the severity index by, what was it, 35%? Yeah, it was a little bit more than they expected. It was 35%. On the Speed Helmet, you would only need one pair for the bottom. They don't go on the top for the Speed Flex like we got over here with the white ones on it. You need two pair for the top and the bottom. So it really depends on your helmet. For example, if you have an F7 VTD, they only have these types of clips on the bottom, but the V7 F7 LTD, you would need two pairs. I think that they're great. Any little thing that you can do to help minimize the severity index of a hit, why not, right? I think that's it, man. Other than the fact that they come in clear, black, and white, we have them at greengridiron.com, and uh, we appreciate you watching. So, 
Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.